Hello everyone. So here we're going to do a demonstration of IBM Watson Explorer Content Analytics. And this is the uh, enterprise search version. There's a content analytics and a search component. So uh, we're going to just show you a little bit of how enterprise search can work. Uh, not just enterprise search. This could be for knowledge management. This could be for e-discovery. And uh, this collection is um, using Enron data and you can see over here we have uh, almost 5,000 items in this uh, in this cluster. So uh, one of the first things I want to show you is the facet tree. So here we have things like location, uh, person, date, business title, normalized date, document cluster, and organization. These are just some of the facets that we've created with um, analytics. Uh, as you can see if we Click here on location, it'll open up and we can go to more facets and actually see all of the different locations that it found in relation to uh, this text. So it gives you a lot of capabilities here. We have uh, kind of the same thing with person. So if we wanted to look for specific people, you know, Arnold, Philip, um, Ellen, Philip. So we have a number of different items that we can use. So what we're going to do is uh, just a quick demo of showing you some of the capabilities here. So I'm going to first click on this document cluster. We're going to look at confidential, deleted, and prohibited documents. And you see when I clicked on that, it brought it down to a list of 324. So I'm going to right click on this and we're going to go to the query builder just as an example. And we're going to do a proximity query. So you can see there's a number of different type of uh, queries you can do from this interface. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to take this base load transactions term and when you notice that when you highlight a term it automatically brings it in here. And then we also want to create a, uh, another term we'll just say deleted and we have 1400 of those and we'll do uh, an, uh, an and search. So this is going to look for um, base load transactions and deleted within the same sentence. And you can see that it ended up finding two hits for us here. And let's say that this was something important for us that we wanted to flag. We can come into the actions and we can go to flag and say, okay, this is uh, maybe we're doing um, e-discovery, want to save this as a matter one. So it'll automatically take those two items and, and flag those. You can see the red flag here and that's for item matter one. Okay, let's go into another uh, demo. Okay, so we're going to do another type of search here. We're going to use normalized date. Uh, <clears throat> and normalized date is a little bit different. This was created using uh, an analytic to find dates mentioned inside of the documents themselves. So here we're going to select 1979. That looks pretty interesting. And we're going to add that to our search. And you'll notice, again, we have almost 5,000 documents here. <clears throat> when we search on 1979, it'll bring up all the documents that have 1979 in, their, uh, in the document itself. And it brought it down to 17. And what we want to do here is we want to find people that were related to uh, this date 1979 in the documents. And you'll notice these highlighted items here. So we're using correlation, the red, yellow, and orange. The red are the highly correlated uh, people. So we're going to go ahead and, and select them to understand, you know, what was going on with these people, um, you know, with these documents including 1979. So you notice it brought up these five documents and now we can go into any one of the documents and, and find the information that we're looking for. Um, so that's, that's that. Okay, so we're going to do a different search here. We're going to use our document cluster. And the uh, document clusters are created from an algorithm that uh, Watson Explorer Analytics uses to find concepts inside of documents. So it's not basically looking for the word, but looking for concepts that are uh, related to trading. So here we're going to click on trading and it brought it down to 3,384 documents. And uh, now we want to look at uh, some business titles that might be relevant for this search. So we're going to select some of the uh, higher level 
uh, titles such as director, president, chairman, and maybe commissioner. And then we'll add those to our search. And then we're going to go to uh, our organization. And let's see which organizations are highly correlated to that search. And uh, here we have a, a bunch. You'll notice again the uh, highly correlated ones are in red. Um, so, you know. Continental Airlines is very interesting to us. So let's go ahead and add that to the search. It brought it down to seven documents. And now we can see uh, a number of documents related to Continental. And here we see, you know, there's a, a milestone relationship between Enron and Continental, specific opportunities to expand fuel management. So here, if we wanted to, again, we could add these to, uh, we could flag them, let's say for maybe matter two. And we'll save that. And what this does is uh, when you create these flags, you can see that there's, uh, you know, these, we have matter one, matter two. So these are basically almost like save searches, but they're uh, items that you can use later to uh, export and, uh, you know, for specific kind of e discovery uh, components. Okay, so I want to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes uh, applications that you use when you're building uh, an analytics search. So this is the, the IBM Studio, and you'll notice uh, that we have a number of analytics that were really already built. So under finance, we have things like you know financial asset forms of insurance, uh, financial cost fees, asset forms, asset types. We have a lot of different uh, components under sentiment that we can use, uh, you know, under people, there's a number of different uh, people analytics. So basically what you do is you, uh, you can either search for the analytics here or you can open these, select them, and then you can add the check ones here and then you deploy them to your analytic engine. Uh, so that's, you know, here you can also build uh, custom text analytics. You know, if you want to build uh, special dictionary items where you do dictionary lookup, you can do those here. You can create your own uh, text analytics for, you know, finding any type of um, component that you're looking for. And then once you do that, you, uh, you come into your, um, your administration console. And this, the console here, I can just show you real quick. Here's your content analytics collections. These are the ones that you, if you're wanting to do a discovery. And then these are your enterprise search uh, collections. So the collection engines uh, allow you to do things like, uh, you know, if you want to, this is where you actually set up your crawls. This is where you, you're doing your indexing. And there's a lot of capabilities to configure your parsing options, your index fields, your facets, your processing, you know, a lot of uh, capabilities built into here. You'll see under your global processes, we have our uh, duplicate document detection. So this is really good if you have a, possibly a, a lot of duplicates. You don't want to be able to uh, use those because it'll mess up your your correlation. So you want to make sure you're using your uh, duplicate uh, document detection. You have your rule-based categories, your cluster deployments. And then you have your annotator. So again, this is um, where you're actually kind of uh, deploying your analytics. So here we have our named entity. Uh, these are like people, location, organization. If we're using a content classification engine, we could add that. Then here's our custom annotator. So this is where we actually would pull in. Uh, I have a, a cluster that's called discovery that we're using in this uh, particular example. So this is uh, kind of the, the behind the scenes capability that brings you to you know all of these facets that you're doing in your clusters and your word clouds. So just kind of a behind the scenes uh, view of what goes on.